So it's, it's actually becoming something of a joke. And I've been kind of silent about this for the past couple of days, biting my tongue. I'm waiting for our weekend segment. I'd like to thank you guys for listening in. But let me let me preface all this about this this rant that I'm about to get into here. Um, you know, I, I am very happy that some guys are excited about this figure. I am happy that that you guys uh, that many people are going to enjoy it. Right now, I think it has close to five thousand backers. It's going to get more. It'll be fully backed, and I'm sure it'll hit all the tiers, just like Star Saber was. And and my arguments against this figure are pretty much the same as my arguments against Star Saber. Um, except now I'm, I'm actually more so, um, okay, let, let me say this guys, this figure to me is, is simply not worth what they're asking. That's the largest point I have. Uh, I said it with, with star saber and it, to me, it even applies more so with death source. You're getting less. Uh, for our, our, for the price you're paying. You're paying a Titan price. Essentially, that's what it is. They could have released this figure at Commander Class. They could have released Star Saber at Commander Class easily. Now, I know the Defenders, the first thing the Defenders of the, this, these HasLab regular size guys are going to say is, well, these are lesser known characters, so they wouldn't sell well. In my location... There are certain figures, I mean, that's always a risk to begin with. But then you had guys like Overlord that that did sell the Titans Return one. That did sell quite a bit. I know in some locations he didn't sell. But he's a pop, you know, he was a popular figure and he was purchased here. Uh I never saw him on the shelves long, or many of them to begin with. Um so and, and that was in central Louisiana at the time years ago. But I digress. The figure, I'm gonna cut to the point. It has no die cast. This is my opinion. I mean, you guys are listening in to my hear my opinion on this. And I'm going to tell you my opinion. And I do appreciate you guys listening. And whether you agree with me or disagree with me, that's fine. I see I'm not against somebody who disagrees with me. I'm not against open dialogue. I'm in this hobby too, though. And I have every right to voice my opinion on this stuff. You know, I did remove a few... Uh, social media posts that I made again about this HasLab project, about the the Hasbro Deathsaurus, <clears throat> because I didn't want to offend anybody. But if you're here, again, you're listening for my opinion. I'm going to give you that opinion. It's got no diecast. Okay, some people don't like diecast. I I I like it when it's used in small amounts. It does add to the weight and this uh, the sturdy feelingness of the figure. If that makes any sense. It's got no chrome. It's, it's probably not going to have any chrome. Star Saber, I don't believe, has any chrome. You have to wait a year for it. It's probably over a year until you actually get it in hand. 13 months, 14 months. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but the price is really the main thing. Uh, it also has some hollow bits that I'm not, for the price, that should not be there. If you look on his shield, for example, it's all over the place there. Uh, certain parts in his, in, I believe, in his elbow joint areas, you can just see little gaps in that. It shouldn't exist for that price, for that size of a figure. It's a cash grab. You know, in the past, I have been the biggest supporter of Hasbro and the most, the shilliest, loyal, most loyal individual you could ever imagine. But there's no excuse for this, guys. It's embarrassing. I'm not going to personally do this or back it. And the guys that say it's a great deal or it's it's well worth the money, I don't believe it is. I just strongly disagree. Uh, If you look at the, the figures, and I've made this argument several times in the past, the commander, first of all, HasLab started out by giving us giant figures that they simply couldn't produce at a retail level. Unicron, namely being it for Transformers. There's, this is, it's not why HasLab was brought about. And I agree with HasLab, Unicron being a HasLab project. I agree with it. Uh, even, even small, you know, figures like, even you go outside of Transformers, like the Marvel Legends Sentinel or Galactus. I, I agree. I can even accept those. 
But the Star Saber is no larger than the Commander Class Jetfire. And again, I think I paid 60 bucks for my Jetfire, but he's like 80 or 90 normal Commander Class prices. The pre-order's up again, and I'm glad he is, by the way. Gives everyone a chance to own him who missed out on him in the first place. But it, there's, there's simply no excuse for this. I am curious to hear what you guys think. Let's get a dialogue going in those comments. And I, again, I'm not trying to offend anyone with my opinion, but it is my opinion. It's it, You're getting robbed. If you backed this project, if you backed the Star Saber one, I, I'm glad that there's an official release of both characters. I'm glad you, I hope you're happy and I hope you get it and you love it. And I'm sure they're going to be good, good figures, but they're not going to be good value. They're not going to be worth the cost of it. Um, the quality is not going to be there. I love, I mean, the, legacy, those figures are good, but they're priced accordingly, even though they're a little high nowadays, they're still in, and yes, there's inflation. That's why I still buy legacy. I still buy the main line, but this is not inflation. This is just asking way, you know, this is like $70 too much. And yes, I, I picked up as many as the Plan X version of it. And he's heavy and I love him. And I got the G1 upgrade set for him. And you can get the base figure for the same price of him and have him next week in hand. And, but there's multiple other versions of Death Source, I believe. There's, an, there's, so I, I just, it's, it's just real frustrating me, guys. But I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments. I think it's a blatant cash grab. I think Hasbro's doing everything they can uh, to squeeze every last dollar because they know we're going to pay it. And the only way we can tell them, no, I don't like this, is to not do it. Um, of course they're going to try and do it, but as long as we keep get, going in with them, they're just they're not going to stop. I mean, when's it going to end? I mean, I think that they're they're probably eventually going to do away with commander class altogether and just make every commander class figure a Haslab project, which makes zero sense to me. Because you might as well. There's no, I don't care. I I don't believe it until I see it. There's not going to be any more plastic than there is on figures like the commander class Skylinks, commander class Jetfire, who had loads of accessories. And he was very well engineered. That, that old, and for, frankly, I think it's a bullshit argument. Oh, it's got more engineering. What does that mean, more engineering? I, I just, I... anyway, guys, we're going to be doing, a, I actually have our giveaway winners right here for our Speedia of Clampdown, the Deluxe Clampdown, and the Core Class Hot Rod. And the winner of the Core Class Hot Rod is going to be Gig Gitty or Giggity, however you say his name. And the winner of the Speedia Clampdown is going to be Mr. John Chavers. John Chavers. We appreciate everyone who participated in this month's giveaway. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. If you like our content, you want to keep it com coming, and you want to help support the podcast, please consider uh, taking a look at our Patreon and becoming one of our patrons. You get on-screen shout-out. You get a verbal shout out and you go to help support. And by the way, you also get double entries in every giveaway we run. All that that money does is go directly to the figures that we buy for the channel and give away every month. So please, 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 if you have the means, let me give me three bucks, guys. If you participate in our giveaways and you enjoy it, please consider that. But I thank you guys for listening. Check out those links below. By the way, my buddy Michael. Michael Brooks has started a new channel. It's not Transformers, but if you're into sports, if you're into comedy, if you're into um, like Magic the Gathering, he does a lot of little stuff. Check out his channel. He's only got one vid up right now, but please do me a favor, and if you, even if you can't be a patron, go down there in the links below and, and just, uh, subscribe to my buddy Mike Brooks' channel. Great guy, funny guy. Yeah, I think he's doing some disc golf stuff now. He's getting really into that. It's really cool, actually. I, I'd like to play that one day. I haven't gotten a chance to do it yet. But, yeah, I appreciate you guys listening. We're going to be back on Monday. God bless. And to all are one. This podcast is made possible thanks to the amazing support by our patrons. Click that link in the description below to help keep T-Talk Raw going strong. Thank you.